my name is Lorna Loco. I came to see Dr. Butt um, on the recommendations of my GP, uh, which is also at King's. He made me feel very comfortable. He's a great doctor and very easy to talk to, fabulous uh, bedside manner. He makes you feel very comfortable and at ease. I had to have an angiogram, um, which was a surprise to me because prior to that, I was feeling very healthy and I didn't think there was anything wrong with me, but apparently um, I had a, a lot of buildup of calcium on my arteries and he said to me it was the worst he's ever seen. So I had to have two procedures done um, after the angiogram. The first one, I had to have three stents put in the right side and the second one, I had another three stents put in, but the second one, they used the sound waves. I'd never heard of it before. The procedure didn't hurt, actually. There was no pain. You had to be awake, but I actually could feel the waves. It's a very strange feeling, but there's nothing that hurts about it. I was in ICU for just about a night. Came out the next day. I, was, I felt quite well, I, I could shower by myself. Dr. Butt came to see me and he reassured me, which he's very good at. He explained everything to me um, and so I, I didn't feel really panicky and I was very grateful that he could see me and carry out these procedures. Hello, I'm Dr. Mahmood Butt, consultant, interventional cardiologist and director of cardiac catheterization laboratory at King's College Hospital in Dubai Hills. I'm going to refer to a case of a very delightful lady called Lorna. She presented to us a few months ago and she was found to have exceptionally high amount of calcium in the coronary artery disease. She had a lot of issues, however, all the arteries, they were full of calcium. Generally speaking, patients like these are referred for bypass. However, she was not only scared of having her chest open, but also she was quite keen to have it done from her wrist. We were able to sort her problems out using this device. It was a day case procedure. We performed it from the wrist. We took the images of her arteries, found out how much calcium was there, in which part of the artery it was most loaded, and then we used this special device. This device dissolved most of the calcium and then we were able to treat it with a balloon and a stent. She's been doing really well since then.